Hi everybody, Rod here from Dash Digital Cash Brazil. We are at La Bitconf in Chile. Today I'm going to be talking with Jose Rodriguez. He's the VP of Institutional Sales for Bitso, one of the largest cryptocurrency exchange in Mexico. The largest one. <laughs> the largest one. See, he's not shy to say that. And I, first of all, I have to say that I knew who you were, but I didn't know your story until I saw your talk in Anarcapuco, which was one of the most... <laughs> which was one of the most powerful talks I've ever heard about this story, how you left the banking institutional system and got into crypto. Find out, everybody. I think there's some videos online It's I recommend. But let's talk about the Mexican market right now. How is that playing with crypto? Yeah, well, we have been open since April 2014, and this year we surpassed half a million users in Mexico. So it's been growing uh, mostly in the last year because of you know, price going up and everything, but there has been a lot of interest. And mostly uh, what is important is beyond trading and speculation, there have been some use cases that we have developed in Mexico, like for example, international payments, starting exploring uh, remittances. We are in plans to open our to open up our, our card uh, program for everyone, so you can have a Bitso debit card next year. And different use cases and also implementing new cryptocurrencies inside the exchange. We currently have nine. We started with Bitcoin in 2014, and now we have nine different cryptocurrencies listed. Okay, so what is the plan, and what can we do as a community to implement Dash Digital Cash into the exchange? So this year, we started with our coin listing policy. You can go inside our blog, blog.pizzo.com. It's in English and Spanish. And there you can see our coin listing policy. And there's an email in which you can propose a cryptocurrency to be listed. So what the community can do is send over some emails and also tell them why you want Dash, what are the use cases. And there are some specifics that we want to know about uh, the different coins for us to push it forward. So the more information you give us, the more information we have, the better. So there's a committee afterwards and that committee decides which cryptocurrencies are going to be listed. This year we started with our four new uh, tokens that we listed through this process, which, which was TrueUSD, BAT, Golem, and MANA. So right now we are open for new proposals uh, to list new different uh, tokens inside Bitso. Excellent. Well, the Dash community is one of the strongest and united communities among Latin America and other countries as well. So I'm sure we're going to actually be uh, sending tons of email towards your way. And we hope to get some good news very soon. Hi, how are you? To get some good news uh, very soon as well. So personally for you, what's your plan on crypto expansion? What do you think that the markets in Mexico need us to grow? Well, as I mentioned, most of it is, is interesting use cases. And for example, what Mexico has one of the biggest remittance corridors in the world, which is sending money two words from the United States to Mexico and from Mexico to the United States. A great percentage of the population of Mexicans have live in the United States and have second generation, third generation, and a lot of people do go to study to the United States. And there's also uh, something funny going on. There's a lot of people that come from the States when they retire to live over to Mexico. So that's, that's an interesting use case. And actually, like about three, four years ago, remittances surpassed oil as the biggest income in US dollars. So that's a big use case. The other one is making uh, Bitcoin usable anywhere. There's a lot of people that say, if you cannot use cryptocurrencies or Bitcoin to pay for something, you, it's, it's like, it's useless. Yeah. So what we're enabling is people to pay with cryptocurrencies or make it invisible, like for example, through our card that we're launching soon, that you can pay in the, in the anywhere. And so it's going to be an international card where you can pay with your Bitso balance. Doesn't matter if it's in cryptocurrencies or it's in, in Mexican pesos. And also for, for institutional and for traders, we have other products and services that we're launching like OTC and, and, and our uh, the different apps and, and things that will enable you to use cryptocurrencies for whatever you want, uh, wherever you want. I think Mexico is a key country for the expansion of crypto, exactly for that reason as well. I started into crypto because I'm an immigrant, I live in the US, and I was looking into a way to send money to my parents in Brazil. But once again, everybody, well, thank you very much, Jose, thank for your you. time. I'm a big fan of your story and everything you, you do as well. We're here in Chile at LabitConfi, and I'll see you guys later. Ciao for now.
se inscreva no canal e deixe também o seu like. Estamos presentes no Twitter, Facebook e Instagram. Dash Dinheiro Digital. Dinheiro Digital.